I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Saturday morning. It's the 11th of May, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We go to the first book of Corinthians, chapter 15, and I am reading verse 58. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And the Amplified Bible says, always doing your best and doing more than is needed. I read a beautiful reading by Bishop Ryle, who lived many, many years ago. He said, activity in doing good is one recipe for being cheerful Christians. It is like exercise to the body, and it keeps the soul in health. Doing good makes cheerful Christians. It keeps us spiritually fit. Just like exercise, going to the gym keeps us physically fit. When we do Christian deeds for others, it makes us spiritually strong. Remember, no man's an island. We were never created to be on our own. We were created by the Lord to help one another. No lone rangers in the kingdom of God. We really need to help each other. Now, I've told you this story before, but it's worth hearing a second time. And this is a true story about a young man many years ago in this very district where we live. He was looking for a job. He was riding on his horse. And as he was going along, in those days, the district roads all had gates as you led from one farm to the other. And he heard this old motor car coming from behind, probably a Model T Ford. And the old couple were driving this little motor car. And he jumped off his horse and he opened the gate to let them go through. They tipped their hats, said thank you. And he closed the gate behind, got on his horse. And the motor car stopped just ahead. And as he rode up, the old gentleman said, where are you going, son? He said, I'm looking for a job, sir. He said, well, come along to my farm and I'll give you a job. It's right down the road. And that's exactly what he did. That young man eventually inherited that farm because the old farmer and his wife never had any children. So by opening that gate and doing something good as a Christian, he inherited a farm. <laughs> Today, we don't do it for any return or any reward. We do it because it's what God wants us to do, to help one another and to be cheerful about it. Go out today, make that phone call, take that bunch of flowers to your teacher at school, send a text message and tell people you're praying for them. It'll do you the world of good. Jesus bless you and goodbye.